Hi guys! Lately on the show I've been showing you how to build and use simple lathes. And lathes make round parts, so I thought I'd better give you some tips on how to work with round parts in the shop. Now, most of the tools we have, like the table saw, the drill press, they have flat tables to work on square parts. So when you get a round part, you need to think a little harder about how to machine it. Here's an example. This is a foot I made for a stop motion puppet. And the overall round shape was easy to turn on a lathe. But then I had to figure out how to put in this slot and this hole. Luckily the solution is simple. All you do is you make a box out of whatever scraps are available, like this particle board. Then you line your part up on the center line and attach it with small screws that go through the part that's not going to get cut. And this way you have nice square edges to slide against your machine. Now you can easily cut that slot on the table saw. And for drilling, you can just put the whole jig on your drill press, or you can do what I'm doing here, which is just to clamp a little block with a pre-drilled hole to start the hole. And then once you have enough of it going, you move the block and you can finish it up. Easy, right? Let's take a look at my finished model. Now the other variation is when you need to drill or route a long spindle. Like this chair leg needs a hole for the stretcher. Now you could drill that with your portable drill, but most likely if you eyeballed it, it wouldn't be the right angle. So the solution is to make a slightly different box jig. This one has closed ends. And then you can just screw your part in from the end. And again, you can use the drill press. Or you have these nice square edges on top to put your plunge router. So, that was a quick episode, but hopefully these tips will help you next time you have a round part. And I'll see you again soon with more videos.